the horror of nearby noises in the night, the blood-curdling fear of knowing that something is in here. Oh, it's just teeth-cleaning mop guy, a bear, and a rabbit dog. Thanks, darkness, you hateful bastard. While you were busy agreeing with literally everything anyone ever says, grow a backbone, Larry. Darkness was busy causing seasonal affective disorder, otherwise known as SAD. And SAD doesn't just make you sad, it can also lead to hospitalization or suicide. 9.5% of the people in the less light getting more dark having Arctic regions of our planet have some form of SAD. And among those SAD sufferers, 6 to 35% have been hospitalized for it. And the dark doesn't just mess you up emotionally. Do you know what else the dark does? No, you don't. You're just randomly agreeing with everything. Come on, Larry. That guy keeps calling you a couch manatee. Shake your head if you're not a couch manatee. God damn it, Larry. Have some respect for yourself, you sofa sea cow. I'm I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. I am sorry, Larry. Are we cool? Are we cool? Good. Like I was saying, darkness helps regulate your melatonin. Without darkness, your pineal gland shrinks. And without a full-size pineal gland, you don't get enough melatonin. And without enough melatonin, you have a higher chance of getting cancer. So leave the lights out and sit alone in the dark. But no, don't just sit there because the dark is super dangerous. It's where 63.2% of all sexual assaults and rapes happen. It's also where 67% of all vehicle thefts happen. According to those stats, the rape van is probably stolen. Still not scared of the dark rape van wing? Well, you're wrong. Darkness isn't just bad, it's biblical bad. In the book of Exodus, darkness is the ninth plague that God put upon the Egyptians. That makes it the second worst thing on a list of things that starts with rivers of blood and ends with the killing of the firstborn. That is some dark sh**. When I was a kid, I was never scared of the dark. Check out our new show, Animals with Low Self-Esteem. I don't know if I'm angry because I'm alone, or if I'm alone because I'm angry. But I was afraid that an intruder would sneak in in the middle of the night. It's a funny show, you'll like it. So I would sleep with a knife on the windowsill over my bed. You can check it out on Animalist.com. But I was afraid of the knife falling off of the ledge and cutting me, so I used a butter knife. Please share this video with your friends. So if an intruder burst in on seven-year-old me, they were in for a really dull evening. Knife joke. Good knife, everybody. Don't forget to shank your waitresses.